I don't want to die. As you can see, they're all dying, trying to get into me. Hey guys, what is up? Beckbrojack here, bringing you another Volt tutorial. But today, we're going to be going over the S-Mine, even though I already went over it. Uh, I'm just going to go into it more in detail, and I'll uh, show some different designs that uh, you can make of it that are uh, really helpful when you're trying to kill somebody, assassinate them. And then we have uh, the three different spikes, the flammable spikes, the poison spikes, and the regular spikes. So yeah, um, right now we are just going to make it daytime, just because I don't like the dark. But anyway, uh, first we will we'll go over the S-Mine. So the S-Mine, um, as you uh, probably saw in uh, my explosive bolts tutorial, and if you didn't, go check that out. But anyway, um, we will be testing this out and uh, a good um, design I had for this is uh, not necessarily that on top but uh, it'll actually be underground I will be showing that in a second but I always like to use glass pressure plates that are um, in the ICBM mod which are just two pieces of glass and the S mine is just the fragmentation explosives attractive explosives and the repulsive explosives so yeah I just like to have it like this and I also noticed that um, hold on. If I just destroy these, and I just have one pressure plate right there, that when I go on it, I actually kick it in the direction that I was walking, which is actually kind of cool. And yeah. Obviously, you saw it doesn't seem as big as first at first, but then it just gets totally huge with the fragmentation and the flaming arrows. But yeah, we'll move out of this area, and I will show you the design that I prefer with the S mine, and uh, you, this also works with any other explosive. But uh, I just think the S mine just works the best because it's supposed to be used for uh, as like a mine, and this setup is uh, perfect for it. So if you just make um, this down like this, you go over a couple spaces, and then you could put this down like right there. And if I just fill this in, some sandstone, and then you can fill this in with dirt or anything. And then I just gotta wire it up wire it up and then uh, yeah this could be filled up with dirt I just don't have dirt right now and then uh, this just imagine it being grass but yeah uh, never mind I'm just gonna make it grass grass block I'm unprepared sorry about that okay so it's extremely unnoticeable especially with the glass pressure plate plate you will not notice it so you're just walking along yeah -de -da -de -da. and then you just hear that what what's what's that die obviously yeah you're, you're dead so yeah that's a good little trap uh, for people I know that could be used with any explosive but I just think the S line works the best so next uh, we're gonna be going over the spikes the poison spikes and the flammable spikes and um, I'm just gonna get all open to this area okay so now we are going to go over the different spikes so right now we have the regular spikes the poison spikes and the flammable spikes this is how you make the regular spikes. It's just either iron or bronze ingots with cactus on the top. I prefer I prefer the iron ingot recipe just because it's simpler to make. If uh, you're watching my uh, series with uh, CJ, bronze is uh, sort of difficult to make. And then, uh, from that, we have our poison spikes, which is just spikes with poison powder. And then flammable spikes, which is just spikes with sulfur on top. Okie dokie. So now we are going to make daytime. And, uh, yeah, we'll put these spikes down. So, the flammable spikes, they will set you on fire, as you can tell. As I walk over it, I have fire all over me. And the poison spikes, they will poison me. As you can see right over here, I have poison. And then the regular spikes will just harm me. Like, um, I'm a regular person. So, whoopsie daisies. So, yeah, um, a good design that, uh, I thought... For uh, these, if actually if you have barbed wire on top, uh, I showed um, I featured these uh, in my Blastcraft tutorial and uh, the updated ICBM. If you haven't checked that out, make sure to go check that out. But for right now, just box myself in, and uh, we're gonna like spawn some creepers and some good stuff, and um, we'll see if the creepers are dumb enough to walk into this. I'm not sure if they are. So yeah, this stuff basically, uh, if you haven't seen my other tutorial, works as both. Um, like a spider web slash cactus. We'll just put 
some of these different ones down and uh yeah you'll get stuck in it and basically you die they also harm you regularly so yeah this uh the poison spikes and all these spikes on the bottom will just add an extra hurt effect where you could just die real quick and uh yeah we'll get inside after we spawn some creepers outside uh i don't know if i like the whole creeper thing uh, we'll try it out what the yolo yolo See, look, this creeper's already dying. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna work my way up here. I don't wanna die! As you can see, they're all dying, trying to get into me. They're dying from flames, they're dying from poison. And they're right down there. Somehow they got in, but they will die from the poison. I hope so. Stop. Yeah, as you can see, they can actually get through the barbed wire and the spikes but I guess the spikes aren't that powerful I don't know the damage uh, capabilities of these but um seems like it does a pretty good amount of damage over time oh no no <sighs> oh god yeah this does not that much damage over time let's just walk in it oh god no get me out okay yeah if you get stuck in that obviously you just saw that did like half my health I'm gonna go into creative mode just so I don't die but yeah, um, if you wanted to like, surround your house with this type of method, that would be, um, in my opinion, that would be the best type of method to do because you can't really get under this. Um, you can break the block under it. But yeah, you could just have like walling underneath. Uh, it's just a pretty good fencing to keep out mobs and stuff like that. People, um, not too sure of. Uh, for people to keep them away, I would just use the mine trick with the S mines. So yeah, um, this is just a short tutorial on the S mines and the spikes. My name is Beck Bro Jack, and I will see you all next.